Hello, this is Cheo with a special report. We're so pleased to have a special guest with us today, Mr. Gabe Gallegos. I've known uh, Gabe since he, actually before he started the University of New Mexico, he was in a leadership program while he was in high school. And I'd like to ask him how that prepared him for for matriculation at the University of New Mexico. Gabe, welcome. We're so glad to have you here. Well, thank you and, for uh, having me. We're and you're a presidential scholar also. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to be here speaking to you about this. So, um, you know, in, in high school I was um, accepted into the, the first class of the, of the New Mexico Leadership Institute um, scholarship program, actually, um, which is um, in part um, kind of administered through our our college admission program here, here at the university. Um, and through that, um, I was able to um, attain um, funding to come here to university and also um, some really amazing mentors as well um, that really prepared me um, for college life and the opportunities here at the University of New Mexico. So. Wonderful, Gabe. Gabe, now, once you were enrolled at the University of New Mexico, you got involved with the Emerging Global Leaders mm -hmm. and now with ASUNM, which is our undergraduate student government. Mm -hmm. And now you have an important role uh, in communication. <laughs> Tell us about that. So, uh, yeah, so I, I came here to university and immediately got plugged into um, our um, undergraduate student government. It's kind of this kind of freshman leadership program called the Emerging Global Leaders um, that really trains um, incoming students for. Um, a whole variety of UNM leadership opportunities. Um, mm -hmm. One of which being a student, the undergraduate student government. Um, I served on the student senate all last summer, uh, sorry, all last year, and now I currently serve as, um, as kind of a senior staff member as the director of communications, um, doing all of our media relations and all of our um, communications work outreaching with the public. So yeah. uh, it's been a really amazing opportunity to, to, to serve and give back to mm -hmm. um, this campus community, which has given me so much. So. And you know, people don't realize that ASUNM serves not 20,000 undergraduates, pretty close to almost 20,000 undergraduate students. So it is quite a responsibility, sure. Gabe. Now, Gabe, you had an exciting summer. You were a, an intern for the State Department in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this experience and what was the highlight of being in Washington, D.C.? Well, I did have an, a pretty amazing summer. Um, I was um, actually accepted as one of 24 individuals across the country to participate in, in the U.S. Foreign Service Internship Program. Um, it's, a, it's a fully funded program um, that uh, takes um, a, aspiring public servants from across the country um, to get have a summer with the, with the department in Washington and one summer um, at one of our, our U.S. embassies abroad. Um, and so this summer I served in the office of the spokesperson um, working on um, a lot of domestic media outreach um, interfacing with, uh, with national journalists um, trying to um, generate positive press about um, our department and, uh, and continuing to support our mission of explaining uh, foreign policy to the American people. So um, it was a really incredible experience. What was the highlight of that experience? Who did you meet that's important? <laughs> you know, I, uh, uh, definitely we, we, we had a, a photo opportunity with um, Secretary John Kerry, um, oh, which, wonderful. so, and, and he's a, uh, an incredible man, a very, a very inspiring, very amazing public speaker, and so it was incredible to be able to, to meet him and kind of that was a good closure to the internship. So. And then you networked and met students from all over the country. Mm -hmm. So you've got friends all over now. I do. I, I have, I have new 20, 23 new friends that are from everywhere. So Wonderful. That's great. Gabe, we're very proud of you. You've become a role model for the rest of our <laughs> students. And we look forward to reading more about you in the future when you're in Washington, D.C., you're running for office possibly, <laughs> and you've got my vote. Thank, Thank you. you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, Joe. I appreciate it. <laughs>